Nikki is meek. She is someone that's in authority, under authority. She's got that humble confidence about herself because she loves people, she cares about them, and she knows what really matters. Just like just like Kyle, you both know what really, really matters. And you value that, you value your family, you value, um, again, just the things that matter. And so I think about you, I think about what you're entering into today is a really good thing. Because the union that you were about to enter into was created by God himself. Your marriage is a good gift from your good God. Amen. Kyle Matthew Jameson, my groom, let me tell you why I love you. You're my favorite Scrabble partner and opponent. Euchre partner, British baking show watcher, my travel buddy, the best audience for my cheesy jokes, and my favorite person to laugh with. I can't remember the exact moment that I knew I wanted to marry you. I can't remember if it was over a card game on a date night. I can't remember if it was over coffee one morning. I can't remember if it was a moment at the lighthouse. It was probably a random Tuesday. What I do remember is the way you, you have readily loved and cared for me and for others. I remember your tender heartedness and your grace. I remember the way you make me laugh. All of these things I love and cherish about you, and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life experiencing and remembering you forever. I can't remember when I knew I wanted to marry you, but I am certain that I want you now and forever, my bride. I love you so much. It says this, for where you go, I will go, and where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die, and there will I be buried. May the Lord do so to me, and more also, if anything but death parts me from you. Ruth's proclamation here beautifully displays a kind of love and faithfulness that assures us that there is a love out there that is able to be depended upon. It's the same kind of love and faithfulness which at its foundation of these vows that both Kyle and Nikki are about to take in order to enter into the sacred covenant of marriage. When you pray to God for a man to come into your daughter's life, you want one that's strong, patient, loving, kind, strength and character, and most of all has a heart for the Lord. Uh, we saw these qualities pretty early while uh, we were getting to know Kyle. I've seen him live these out over the last couple of years with his relationship with Nikki and as it's grown. And knowing Matt and Monica, as we've gotten to know them, it's not surprising Kyle's the man he is today. So Nikki is full of so much wisdom and God uses her way with words to speak truth into others' lives. The same is true of Kathy, her mom. She knows the questions to ask to make you dive deeper into how you're feeling, and she points you towards the Lord with scripture. Um, like her dad, Mike, uh, Nikki loves to serve others. Uh, Mike makes fe people feel so welcomed in their home. Uh, you can't go five seconds without him offering you one of his delicious margaritas. Um, <laughs> I didn't know what a real margarita tasted like until having one Mike made. The funny thing about raising a daughter, you're the first male relationship you will have. You will love her first, and if you're blessed, she will love you back. I love you so much, daughter. I'm honored to be your father. Let's see how under. Our, uh, uh, our relationship will continue to, grow, continue to grow, and I'll do my best to cherish every moment. moment. Even though I was always the annoying little brother to you, and you, but you never ceased to be there for me. I know you would take that same patience and grace in your marriage. Nikki, I've never seen Kyle more happy than he is with you. I also never got to see much of Kyle when he got to college, so thank you for bringing him back home. Mom really appreciates it. I can't wait to see what all God has in store for you two, and I'm excited, I'm excited to have you as a sister. forward to the future as both you build a life centered around faith and in the Lord and surrounded by family and friends as you both grow in your careers, expand your family and tackle what's set, for, uh, set in front of you. You are my confidant, my encourager. You are my best friend. You are a gift from our good and gracious God that he has allowed so I may experience more of his character because of who he created you to be. I know more of our Father's steadfast love and pursuit of our hearts by the way you have faithfully pursued and cared for my heart. I know more of the Lord's patience because of your patience in waiting for my head and heart to get on the same page. 
I know more of the Lord's humility in laying down his life for us because of your humble sacrifice and service to everyone around you. I know more of our God's kindness and joy by watching you with Anya and always saying yes to playing with Emma. The girls love you, which makes me love you all the more. And I know of the Lord's comfort and care as you held me in your arms and stood by my side as I grieved and continue to grieve the loss of John. From that moment on, I knew you would always be my partner. You are the love of my life. I'm so excited to be your wife. I'll see you at the end of the aisle, Bubba. Forever yours. When I think about what that means coming together, a contentment, a meekness, this humble confidence that both of you have, the personal relationships, all of the things that you guys have prioritized, you're not the same person, but you prioritize very similar things. You know, you put Jesus at the head of your life, you put people at the head of your life, and so you're set up to live a life full of loving God and loving others. And what more could you ask for? You see, the Bible informs us that God is the one who created marriage and that he has not only created it, but he has also called it good. In Genesis 2, in the midst of the creation story, God created man and then he created woman. He then informed the world through his word that a man is to leave his father and mother and become one flesh with his wife. And then he, that being God, he called all that he had created very good. Kyle and Nikki, in the presence of God and your family and friends, you have given and pledged your vows of marriage to each other, and you have declared by the giving and receiving of rings. And now it is with great joy in the name of the Father, Holy Son, and the Holy Spirit that I pronounce you husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Amen. Kyle, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> It is my honor to announce Mr. and Mrs. Kyle Jameson. As I was thinking about the things that I wanted to say tonight and, and even um, just one thing that I, that I noticed as everyone was mentioning uh, before, the three speeches before, is before I even start mine, you two are just personal people. You're, you're, you're people of individual relationships and you mirror Jesus in that way. And I think that that's reflected in the people and the relationships in this room. So everyone knows Kyle as the kindest, most thoughtful person. Um, even if you're Nikki's aunt from out of town and tonight was the first time you met him, you probably left the conversation thinking, man, I gotta do better. Guys, uh, some advice. They lean to, into each other at all times, good and troubled. You will find strength together. You will be a safe harbor for each other. Keep Jesus at the center, center and remember. Be kind and compassionate to one another. Forgive each other, just as Christ forgave you. I love you both. Everybody raise a glass. Raise a glass. Let's toast to King Kyle. And Kyle actively chooses day in and day out to, to care about the things that matter most and care about the people that matter most. And so when tough times come, as I know they have and as I know they will, especially in a marriage, he's there and you're there and you're, you're able to be there for the people that need, need it most. And in response, I know that people are there when you need it most. And that's just, that's what matters. And so I, gosh, I, I want KJ to know that so bad. I want you to know that so bad because you have made a difference in my life and I'm a better man um, for, for all of that. So thank you. I am so thankful that we have you to support Nikki. You were the, you've stepped up to help in so many moments where I, we should have all been able to be there, but we couldn't. Your, high, your heart, your joy, your kindness, everything that you bring to us, we're rough around the edges. We need a little bit more Kyle in our life. And so thank you. I'm so proud to say that you're the uncle of my children partner to my sister not by blood but I'll take you no matter what so 
thank you. I love you both so much, and I'm honored to be part of your day. So. I am so excited for the adventure that is marriage that you're going on. I know that Pickerington or wherever, you else, uh, wherever else you guys end up living is gonna be better for it. You guys are community people. You foster that, you care about people, and you cared about me and so many else in this room, so many others that are in this room. So I love you both. I'm thankful for you. And so again, with the drink that I don't have, just like Madison, I'd like to propose a toast to Kyle and Nikki.